Today we're going to watch a video of a 84 year old gentleman who's a retired surgeon. We're also going to be interviewing his wife. He came in with a severe stroke, um, left sided stroke, and right sided weakness, had a nasal gastric tube, had uh, motor problems, couldn't walk, ambulate, toilet himself. But uh, most problematic to him was his speech. We started him on a medication, Cinemet which has a dopaminergic drug which dramatically improved um, with time, not just with his therapy, but we also feel with the medications. You can see from your own Google search that dopaminergic drugs are also used for the help of the recovery from stroke. And there is some research that says that they also help with the recovery of expressive and receptive dysphagia, or aphasia in his case. Anyway, you'll see that his speech is still a problem, but the most thing we'll focus on is that his home therapy that he's doing now using a modified constraint-induced therapy. And we'll see examples of how his right, have, his right hand is improving with regards to its function, which is just over a two-week period of constraint-induced movement therapy. So Barbara, I would like to thank you for coming in with your husband today, Harry. Is that okay if we do a YouTube video with you and Harry? Absolutely. So uh, you were a nurse before, right? That's great. And one of the things you've done a really great job with, with Harry is recording his blood pressure. Uh -huh. And uh, the blood pressure has been under fantastic control in his medications that he's on. So you're happy to stay on those meds? Yes. And yes. also, we talked about when he was in the hospital, he couldn't speak at all. Is that right? That's right. And one of the things we did was singing. Do you remember in the beginning? That's right. He was mm -hmm. able to sing before he could speak. Is mm -hmm. that true? That's true. Yeah. And then um, he's on a medication called Cinnamon, dopaminergic drug, um, usually for Parkinson. What do you think about that? Should we stay on that medication for now? I think so. In the past um, years ago, working with the elderly, um, I was used to working with Cinnamon and saw the progress that it made and what could be done with it. So I'm not surprised with what I've seen in him. Well, that's great. And um, that idea of the drawing, I think, was fantastic. Do you want to tell us about using his right hand for the drawing? Yes, well, this is a program which is free on YouTube. It's called Mapalo Potato. It is somebody who, um, who leads the person through drawing using figures only, numbers. Um, and and uh, Nick uh, Nick's right, is doing his with his right hand. And that has developed um, amazingly from when he started. So his first drawing that we showed, we showed how many pictures did we show? About nine or eight or so? Eight or nine, yes. Eight or nine. Uh, his first picture was about how long ago? Oh, about two or three weeks ago. And the last picture was how long ago? Nineteenth uh, of the of last month, or nineteenth of twenty first. So really, like a month. couple of weeks of drawing the pictures, you made dramatic improvement. Yes. And that's yes. in my sense. Uh, an example of the brain retraining itself. Yes. And we'll show yes. those pictures in a few minutes. That's okay with both you and Harry? Harry, are you okay? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. okay, Harry? Uh, fine. You're fine. Great. Yes. Okay, good. All right. Thank you very much for this YouTube video. And You're when welcome. we get our Oscar awards, um, we'll, we'll uh, share it, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Is that a deal? <laughs> oh, good deal. Good deal. Okay, yeah. I agree. So, um, Nick, I appreciate you coming into the office today. As you know, you had a stroke, and um, two of the problems you had was using your right side of your body and also your speech. Do you remember that? Yes, yes. Uh, How do you feel your speech has improved? Overall, better, and that's it. I get tired, and that's, that's um, wobbly. And then it's wobbly, and yeah. so, but it's slowly improving. You're on a medication called Cinemet, yeah. which um, is used in Parkinson patients. Do you have a feeling, I know it's hard to know, but do you have a feeling whether or not you think that may have helped you? Well, I don't know. It, 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 something helped me, uh, but I Im have improved. You have improved? Yeah. Now, we had a discussion today. I don't know whether the Cinemet is continuing to help you improve or not. And I asked you if you wanted to stay on that medication. Yeah. You, you and your wife. You were a surgeon, and your wife's next, so we'll talk to her in a second. And did you want to stay on that medication, yeah. Cinnamon? Yeah. So not, 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 um, uh, 
problems. It's not creating any problems. No, so sit with, sit with it. So stick with it. Okay. Now, we're going to show some pictures of some drawings you've done of your right hand. Yeah. In a few minutes. And um, I think there were some pr pretty dramatic changes. Yeah. One of the things we discussed today was the brain is a plastic structure. Yeah. So in the sense that if we learn to do something and practice over and over again, like playing the piano, eventually our hands can do that. Yeah. And I think those drawings that are going to show are a good example of your improvements that you've used. You've, what do you think about that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I draw, uh, I, I have been through the, the, the guide with the drawings. You have improved in the drawing. Yeah. Okay, maybe when you come in the next visit, we'll do another video to see how that compares. Let's, yeah, yeah. So we'll show the pictures, but before we do, let's just talk to your wife if she doesn't mind. Yeah, sure. Okay, sure. thanks.